Which, but when the kid sent invited me to his party, I and I said to myself, why would someone want to invite me after I did all this to them? And you know what he said? It was because he realized because he said he, in, he said I seemed like a nice kid. If that was the case, then how come I used to do all these mean things to you? Explain to me. After all those things, you want to try to be cool with me. So you know what happened? I decided to put all that bull crap aside that I'd done to him in the past and apologize to him for everything I'd ever done to him. Because I felt really bad. Because I felt like I pretty much torn this kid apart, like, you know. I mean, it was not like, I used to yell at him because I used to catch him touching my stuff. I used to go, get out of here, you know. I was a real prick of a kid. I mean, I was a nice kid, but, I, but there was moments I was a prick. And, there's, and you know what really, it still eats me up when I think about it. But, you know, I'm telling you on camera, straight up, this is all what happened. And did I do something, and did I say not, and did I say I understand the that Kenny had Asperger's? Yes, I'm not gonna shit him because he has that problem. I was just saying what I had to say because of what he was doing. I just wanna make that clear. But what he's doing is not right. I know I've done some things that weren't right. And I still regret them to this very day. See, what I'm trying to say is that the people who get bullied will become bullies themselves. Now, see, this is what the cycle is. See, he claims that we're bullying him, but what he's doing, and me, but he, he might not realize it. In a way, he's kind of bullying us. He keeps doing a lot of messed up shit to people. Like, doing really unnatural, unnecessary bullcrap. Things that he can't keep doing. He got to realize time has... There's a time in life where you gotta just push everything aside and move on. It's all you gotta do. So Kenny, I'm not yelling at you. I'm not gonna curse you out because it never works. And, and besides, last thing I wanna do is make things worse. And I just can't. You just can't keep living in the past, Kenny. You gotta realize that, that that was back in August. That was back when when all this crap started and you started coming along and constantly bugging Efrain. And ever since then, it's never stopped. Then one day, like yesterday, you end up making a video about cyberbullying and you put me in it. You put Efrain, Ramboreff, I know Rambo Ref, he, I know he was pissed off when he said all that shit, like, go to his, you know what, you know what, I'm not gonna take any sides, cause, yes, I understand he had the right to be pissed off, I agree with him, cause what you did was not right, and you fucked with Efri, and, and not to mention going to someone close to him, which is not cool at all, that's like if you went to my relatives, that's like if I had a relative with a fan, with uh, YouTube and you went to their page, trust me, I would turn, you, you think I, you saw me angry on YouTube, you saw me, that's nothing compared to how real my anger can get, what my real anger was really like, you don't understand how bad it would get, if I ever found that you did shit like that, trying to harass someone you don't know, as a matter of fact, I do have a friend on YouTube who is close to me like a brother, I've known since I was a kid. Since we were like this big. So exactly, are you going to go to that person's page and harass them? And the reason why I'm not going to say the name or the YouTube account because if I do that, you're going to see this video and you're going to start getting the idea by bugging him. So the thing is, you ain't going to bug him, period. You, you, it's not going to happen. So that's why I'm not going to mention any names. Because I, I, I can't trust certain people who are going to go do that stuff. Start bugging other people. Try to talk to someone. Trying to convince them to do this and that. You can't have that. It's not going to happen. 
Which is why I keep blocking you for a reason. I don't mean to do it, and I don't want to do it, but you led me and others to do so. But we had a reason, because you keep bothering us. You keep changing, you making new accounts. I don't know how you keep doing that. I'm surprised you didn't run out of email addresses to keep doing that, because it all requires getting an email address to sign up. So you must have a lot of emails to do so. But the point is, is you did you did things that are not necessary. You did things that are not cool. And this has been going on long enough. So I just want to say this. To me, this is the last time you'll ever hear me bring up that name Kenny ever again. You'll never hear the, any mentionings of the situation after this video. Because I choose not to talk about it after this. And so is everyone else that's moving on. And there's just things I'm going to put away for good. Because now we're in November. And you just want to just, you just want, just think about it. Do you really want to keep going on? I know this is not real life. You're right. Everyone's right about one thing. This is not real life. We're in a digital world. We're on computers. We're through a camera. But you know something? At least just let people have fun on YouTube. Let them be a community, not not a place to start with people. Start with people, or any of that crap. Or any kind of harassment. It just gets really to a point where you just don't want to do this shit no more. And there's been times I thought about wanting to leave, trust me. Ever since this crap started, because I didn't want to be no... We're in, we're in the middle of the situation, and, and the fact that he keeps requesting the friend request with me, why I think in one of the requests I discarded it, I rejected it, your invite from one of your accounts, supposedly being two guys, and something like that, you and some other guy, which I don't believe, just making it seem so obvious. You're stating the obvious, man. And that's why I didn't approve it. You want to know why I didn't? The reason why you want to know why? At first, I didn't block you when I did it because I was, it was like, you know what? It's time to let it go. But obviously, you know what you did? You leave a comment on my page saying what? Same stuff. Like I don't know, like. I don't remember exactly what it said, but I was like, I ain't having this. So that's why I blocked you. And you gotta start accepting it. You gotta take the chance of realizing, you know what? If this guy doesn't want to talk to me, fine. I got plenty of other friends. I got other people that are subscribed to me. I got other friends and subscribers. I got plenty of videos. I got all the time I need on my own hands. I know I got better things to do besides the internet. If, to put it like this, if I wanted to get a comment badly, if I want a certain person or a few other people to comment, I, I would be like, trust me, I would like to see them at least say something about my video, but you know what? I'm not like that. If they, if they don't want to comment or they probably don't like the vid, who knows? That's cool. You know what? It's not a big deal. I'm not going to like start bugging them about it. So maybe this is what I should have said the first time around. But you know, I was really mad, pissed off, angry at the fact that this is what you were doing to people. And you're still doing it to this point. I just want to say one thing, just please, enough. Just put it away, put it aside, and let it be done. Because, like I said before, it's finished with me, the situation's over with. We're gonna act like this never all happened. And you can keep requesting and requesting and messaging all you want, but you, you ain't gonna make me crack. You ain't gonna make me crack. You ain't gonna make every crack. You ain't gonna make anybody crack. And you can bring your little friends along to say stuff. Fine. I'll just start blocking them if they're gonna start harassing me or any of my other friends. Because I ain't taking shit no more. I ain't gonna be taking this shit if that's gonna happen. Because of one thing. 
you know what? I had to get that out because it's been bugging me and I, I just can't. So let's just abolish the situation for good. And let's just move on. And just remember, we're very close to the holidays and the last thing you want is this kind of crap to happen. Even up to that point. And, you know, I like to freaking have friends and people comment too, but you don't see me harassing them or going to the... You just can't. You can't keep doing that. And, and like I said before, I had experiences where I was bullying myself because of certain things and or I done the bullying myself and and like I said before it says life cycle circle of life 